I'm Pastor George Borkart, and this is another Higher Things Video Short. Slavery and the Christian faith. What's Christianity think about? That's the subject of today's Higher Things Video Short. Like, subscribe, ring the bell, get the app, donate. If you love our videos, if you love what Higher Things is doing, passing the faith to the next generation, like our videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel, ring the bell for notifications, get the app, it's on Google, it's on iTunes, and it's on Amazon. And donate. Your tax-deductible gift keeps Higher Things, a youth organization all about passing the faith to the next generation, keeps us a-rolling. And we need your gifts in these dark times. Philemon, we've been reading this book, and this book is going to give us a clue of Christianity's view of slavery. Here we go. I appeal to you concerning my child, who I begot in chains, Onesimus. Onesimus is a escaped slave. He has he escaped from his master Philemon, heard the gospel from Paul, and became so attached to Paul, and Paul became so attached to him that Paul considers himself Onesimus's father. Formerly, who before was worthless, useless to you, but now, to both you and me, useful. I am sending to you him who is my very splagna, my very heart. And I would wish him for myself, to keep him for myself. But for you, on behalf of you, that he, that, he, that he might serve me in my chains of the gospel for you rather though i i do not wish to do anything without your consent so that um nothing would be done out of necessity so that your good work would not be done out of necessity but out of free will. All right. So here's the deal. Roman law would have that an escaped slave, Onesimus, would be an outlaw and therefore worthy of death. Philemon could kill Onesimus for escaping him. But Paul who has become a father to Onesimus, not worried about whether or not Onesimus was a slave or a freedman, male or female, but more concerned with the forgiveness of sins achieved by Jesus on the cross and delivered to Onesimus in the Word, sends him back to Philemon, because that's the law. But he sends him back to him with the intent that Onesimus would be freed by Philemon. Do not miss this. While Christians are given to be obedient to the law, and the law of the land of the day was slavery, and why everybody in Christianity should do the best they can in the place where they have been placed, husbands being good husbands, wives being good wives, children being good children, parents being good parents, uh, workers being good workers, Slaves being good slaves, masters being good masters, higher, um, managers being good managers, and the like. There is within Christianity a message which is contrary to racism and slavery. And in the ancient world, it wasn't a racist thing to both own a slave or to be a slave. It was a poverty thing. Um... But nevertheless, this message, all of Christianity and Judaism too, has in it 
this forgiveness and mercy and love and no one being judged by the way they are, male, female, slave, free man, Galatians 3. But everybody is those for whom Christ died, those who are baptized. And so Onesimus is sent back to Philemon with a pun on his name. He was useless to you before, but now he is useful to both you and me because Onesimus' name means useful. But the intention by Paul is that Philemon will free him for the sake of the gospel. And Paul won't command him to do it so that nothing would be done out of compulsion. That was yesterday, last week's video there. This is so important. Christianity is inherently contrary to judging and dealing with people based upon who they are, what station they are in life, whether they're slave or free, male or female, the color of their skin. Everybody is dealt with in the gospel forgiven. So somebody who says Christianity is pro-slavery is just plain wrong. They haven't read Philemon. And in the Old Testament, if you were sold into slavery or you sold yourself into slavery because of a debt that you had, every seven years, debts were forgiven. The year of Jubilee. And so all debts were forgiven so that no one ended up permanently in servitude to someone else. That's the way you should think of Christianity, which, which was subversively countercultural. Not saying, let's get rid of slavery, but rather preaching a message that would end in Onesimus being freed by Philemon and slavery being brought to the end, to an end. There will always be hate because of original sin. Cain killed Abel. There will always be people subjecting others to some sort of servitude, whether or not slavery or economic servitude. But Christianity is all about treating others with love and charity in order to bring them up out of that and live Past that so that everyone could serve everyone in love. Christianity is about everybody serving someone else. Not because they have to, not because they were slaves, but because God in Christ served us, we serve others. So Christianity turns servitude on its side and says the greatest is those who serve others, not because they have to, but because they have been served by Jesus so that everyone would be so free as to serve others. Luther said it this way, the Christian is free Lord of all, subject to none. The Christian is dutiful servant to all, subject to everyone. Think about that. Think about that. Onesimus will free, be freed by Philemon, but not because Paul told him to, because that's what Christianity is all about. It's about freedom in the gospel, loving and serving your neighbor. I'm Pastor George Borkart and Thor. And this has been another Higher Things video short.